I'm Gail, and here I am at the beginning of my quest to find out more about Negeri Sembilan. And what better place to start than the old palace of Sri Mananti. It was built in 1908 and was home to the Yamatuang Besar of Negeri Sembilan until the early 1930s. Look at it, it's still standing strong. Let's go check it out. The Istana Lama Sri Mananti, or the Old Palace of Sri Mananti, is the masterpiece of Minangkabau architecture. It is located in Sri Mananti, the royal capital of Negeri Sembilan, about 30 kilometers from the administrative capital, Suramban. This is the seat of Minangkabau rulers, who migrated to Negeri Sembilan during the early years of the Sultanate of Melaka. Sri Mananti Palace today houses the Museum di Raja, the Royal Museum. Among these are the old costumes, medals, kris, golfing memorabilia, and photos of the past Negri rulers and British administrators. This is what I call a setup fit for a king. This banquet hall was used for the dining pleasure of His Royal Highness, also to entertain the visiting locals and foreign dignitaries. Sri Mananti Palace was used as the royal residence until 1932. The central tower, which was used as a treasury and royal archives, can only be reached from the Sultan's private rooms and is not open to the public. I'm currently at Negeri Sembilan State Museum. This museum has been relocated for three times. First, at Ampang Tinggi, then at Lake Garden, and finally here at the final resting place, Taman Seni Budaya. The State Museum is a must for history enthusiasts. Located within the grounds of the Cultural Handicraft Complex in Jalan Labu, it is actually an old wooden palace which has been reassembled for public viewing. I'm here with Mr Hafiz, who is the Assistant Curator at Negeri Sembilan State Museum. So Mr Hafiz, explain to me about the museum a little bit. Okay, uh, sebenarnya museum kita ni uh, ditubuhkan sejak tahun 1980 mm -hmm. dan pada asalnya bangunan ni ialah uh, orang kata Astaka Tilawah Al-Quran. Okay. Dan pada tahun 1983 dia diwartakan sebagai muzium negeri oleh uh, yang pada masa itu Menteri Besar Negeri Sembilan lah iaitu uh, Tan Sri Isa Samad. Okay. Should you show me around? Boleh. Built entirely from wood, this palace which has seen greater days of royal splendour at its old site at Kampung Ampang Tinggi. Right now we are heading towards Istana Ampang Tinggi, which was moved part by part and rebuilt right here on this site. Explain yeah. a bit about the istana. Okay, uh, istana ni dibina tanpa aku mm -hmm. dan setiap design yang kita tengok dari bentuk ni punya fungsi fungsi tertentu lah. Explain a bit. Okay, the, macam the... macam you naik tadi tangga uh -huh. tu kenapa dia terlalu tegak? Oh, itu untuk melambatkan macam kalau ada musuh datang, so dapat akan dapat melambatkan lagi pergerakan musuh. Jadi orang dalam ni boleh get ready dengan. That's quite smart. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> dan kenapa pintu dia rendah? Orang Melayu kena uh, dengan sopan santun Jadi masuk rumah orang kita kena hormat So kita kena tunjuk This was an amazing experience It feels like I'm taking a journey back through time With this beautiful structure which stands the test of time But now I'm off to my next location This is the final museum that I will be visiting here in the Grisem Bilan The Museum Tentera Darat I've heard some good stories about it from the locals. Let's go check it out. The Armed Forces Museum is located 8 kilometers away from Port Dixon, in an area where military bases and camps are located. This is the first gallery where I will start my tour. Opened a few years ago, the museum has spacious grounds to house a wide range of former combat vehicles, artilleries and planes. The museum is on an elevated land and a fountain cum monument for fallen soldiers in the battle sits in the middle. The most interesting part of this museum is its tunnel that runs below the building and exits near the cargo plane at the side of the museum grounds. 
This tunnel is the exact replica for tunnels used by communist soldiers during the war for communication purposes. I've seen what Negeri Sembilan had to offer from its history, heritage and culture. But now, I'm driving off to my next destination. When you think about nightlife, Suramban might be the last place on your list. Well, tonight, I think you might change your mind. There's a Ramadan bazaar going on right in front of me. Let's go check it out. It's now about 10 o'clock and I can see this place is packing up and I'm getting excited. I'm currently at Era Walk Surinban. It's one of the liveliest hotspots here. As you can see behind me, Trilogy Nightclub. Also, there are many bars and bistros and I'm definitely checking them out. Era Walk is situated within Era Square. It houses over 15 entertainment centres and bistros. This energetic and lively place is actually a multi-purpose commercial centre. Equipped with a 400 feet long and 75 feet width Team Street Mall with a four-storey height roof structure. Over the weekend, this place will be totally packed and I highly recommend you to try out with your pair of dancing shoes here. There's something for every taste bud at the Royal Bintang Resort and Spa Suramban. Well, guess what? This four-star suburban hotel surely can offer you a relaxing evening at the Anjong Lounge, located at the hotel's lobby. Anjong Lounge is Suramban's premier watering hole and rendezvous place. It is also a perfect place for pre-dinner drinks and, of course, after-dinner drinks. You will be absolutely mesmerised with the performance by the in-house artist, the Reflection Band, a versatile new band with amazing vocals. Hear them sing your favourite song in exciting new ways. That was an amazing performance, but the our night's not going to end here. Let's check somewhere else. Have you changed your mind yet about Suramban nightlife? I bet you have. After visiting all those night spots, I'm feeling a little bit tired and think I'll unwind here at Bistro Paradiso in Klana Resort and maybe shoot some pool. When dust sets in, it's time to relax. Here in the Klana Resort Suramban, you don't want to miss the ever-entertaining Bistro Paradiso, surrounded with calm atmosphere and the relaxing live band performances. I can assure you'll sing along to the old-time favourite songs performed by the Hotspot's nightly live performance. If you feel like mingling around, there's a pool table that you can play. And if you want to leave a piece of unforgettable memory, you can grab the mic and sing to your heart's content. <laughs> 